When we switch from the D chord to the G chord, there are some um, things you can keep in mind that kind of help. Uh, they're like shortcuts, I guess, um, or it gives you a roadmap to switch fingers. Um, let's start with the D chord. So when I make my D chord, I use my pointer finger on the second fret of the G string, my middle finger on the second fret of the E string. So you see there's a gap in between on the B string. So on that gap, I'm going to use my ring finger, my third finger, on the third fret of the B string. So I end up with second fret, uh, and then third fret, and then second fret on the G, B, and E strings. Um, when I strum my D chord, I'm going to bring my thumb to the D string. So I'm going to ignore these two. I'm going to ignore the E and the A. I'm going to start from the D string, your fourth string. So I'm going to strum all the way down, just from the D string down. If I strum all six, it's a little muddy sounding, so I want to keep it clean. I'm just going to start here on the D string, strum down. When I play my G chord, um, I use all six strings. Um, I start with my middle finger on the third fret of the E string, pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. Then I'm going to skip a bunch until I get to the third fret of the B string. I'm going to put my ring finger there, then I'm going to put my pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. So I end up with three, two, and then three, three. You should have something that sounds kind of nice and cheerful like that. It's a, it, this is the G major chord. Sometimes people um, play it a little differently. Instead of using both of these fingers at the bottom, they just use their ring finger so that you leave the B string open and then you go with your ring finger to the third fret of the high E string. And that way sounds good too. I like the way this feels. It sounds. You can do whichever is easiest for you. Um, so, um, now that you know those two chord shapes, I'm going to practice switching between them. Um, so now we have some, it's a little trickier, right, because we have to move our fingers. So let's start at the D chord. When I go from D to G, here's what I do. The first thing that I do is I put my pinky finger down on the third fret of the E string. Um, and that gives me sort of like, a, like a, a foothold. And then, since my G chord already uses both of these fingers, all I have to do is put my pointer and middle fingers in the right spot. So I reach my middle finger up to the third, the third fret of the E string and put my pointer finger down on the second fret of the A string. So really all that happens is I leave my ring finger in the D chord. I leave this finger where it is, add my pinky finger, and then stretch up to my lower notes, to my third fret and second fret of the E and A strings. So practice that motion a couple of times. You don't have to worry about strumming, but you want to go to your D chord and without moving without moving your ring finger, try to put the other fingers in their position. So I'll show you a couple times. Here's the D chord. G chord. D chord. G chord. And once you feel comfortable with that, try switching chords, um, giving yourself like a time limit or a beat limit. So maybe I'll give myself four beats or four strums on D and then try to switch to G and then give myself four strums to switch back. And that would look like this. One, two, three, four. D. That's a good exercise. You don't have to go that fast. You can go as slow um, as you want to be comfortable. You want to go as slow as you need to get your fingers in the right place. So maybe what you want to do, instead of strumming everything, is just go D, two, three, four, and then G, two, three, four, and then back. Um, so that's those are some ways to practice those chord changes. Um, 
And uh, yeah, just remember, go as slow as you need to. Um, it's good to practice slowly and consistently. You don't need to rush um, because once we use those chords in the song, you'll have uh, sort of more time constraints. So you want to make sure you're comfortable with it first.